What up, guys? What up, guys? So today I'm gonna show you how to make some paper. Paper. Pay, 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 pay. So first, a little thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you guys need to make a website, URL, online portfolio, or store, make your next move with Squarespace. So what you're going to need is a mold and decal. The mold has a little screen for filtering the water out, and the decal like, makes the edges of the paper. A blender, a little like bin to hold water, a rolling pin, a little plastic sheet, paper to recycle, and something to soak up water like paper towels. So to make the wooden decal, I just got two picture frames, two little wooden dowel things, a drill, a staple gun, and like a screen of some sort. Because I'm the worst tenant in the world, I actually just got this screen from one of the windows in my house. Oops. So remove the prints from the picture frames. I actually made this print on some recycled paper, so that's cool, I guess. And then you're gonna take out the little like metal things, metal clips that hold in the hold in the picture, and you'll have two little frames. Cool. So next, I drilled through one of them in two different places. So if you're going to do this part of it, it's probably best that you do it out of wood, or that you have the frames out of wood. Once you get them through, you're going to match up the second frame and drill through those holes to match up the holes. This is where the little dowels are going to sit in, and it's going to make a little guide so that your mold and deck will line up. So it was kind of a tight fit. So I thought I'd just make the holes a little bit bigger on the mold. Also, making these like little wooden guides might be overkill, but I mean, it worked for me, so eh. Next what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out that screen to fit, and you're just gonna staple on each side, making sure that the screen's fairly tight. Put a staple here, and here. How about here, 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 or here, here? Oh, uh, here, maybe, oh, uh, here, yeah, oh, here. Oh, okay, yeah. So then just cut off the excess screen. Now the screen's over those holes, so I just cut out the holes real quick. And now it should fit real nice. So to make the pulp, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that paper, the recyclable paper. I'm just using like one of my roommates' is old homework or something, I don't know. Syllabuses, I think. And you just put it in a blender with water. I got the blender from a thrift store because, I mean, there's going to be some wear and tear. So I kept on adding water until it got to a consistency where I was like, hmm, this is nice. Oh, yeah. Cool. Bubble. Pop. So another thing, if you want it really, like, white, what you can do is you can just take water and filter out some of the gunk. But if you want it really white, you can add some dish soap or like laundry detergent and that will help get rid of some like the black ink so I mean if you don't want like perfectly white paper you don't have to do this or the next step but if you do after you've like washed it with soap you're gonna try to rinse out the soap with water if you want to go another step you can actually add bleach stir it up let it sit for a bit and I guess cuz my health is important or something I put on some gloves and what you're gonna do is the same thing you're just gonna rinse out and try to strain out all the bleach. That'll probably take a couple passes and a couple times. Once you feel like the bleach is out, or if you skip bleaching it all together, you can just get your tub of water and add in the pulp. The water needs to be probably about twice as deep as your mold is tall. That way you can move it around freely, pull up your mold and decal, and filter out all the water, giving you a nice layer of that pulp. You'll take off your decal, I added another screen, that way when I was drying it with this paper towel, the pulp wouldn't stick to the paper towel. So once it was dry, what you want to do is take it off, like take the, the little sheet of paper off and put it on the plastic sheet. I put a paper towel down and I just flattened it and squeezed out some of the water, that way there would be like a smooth side and then like a texture side. Put another paper towel on top and let it dry. So it would dry flat, put that wood on there. Then once it was dry, I mean, it looked pretty good. So I thought it might be cool if I put some of these pressed flowers in there. So I tried that out. 
kind of arranged the flowers how I wanted them. Put the screen on top. Also, I found an easier way to get it off your get the paper off your mold. So we just flip it and blow on it with the screen underneath. It should just fall right out. That way you can put the plastic sheet right on top and then turn it over and then remove your screen and then flatten it and get some of that water out. So once it's dry, the, the flowers like set on top so they're kind of falling out. I put that one aside and I thought maybe if I made like another layer of paper or another paper and, and laid it on top of those flowers and make like a little flower sandwich, it might look cool and it would stop the, the flowers from falling out. So it made me think what else could I put in paper and I tried some of this felt, just blended it on up, I put it in water and then I like, filtered out the big chunks and added my pulp. I went ahead and strained out the water and let it dry. Another thing I wanted to try was like little tiny pieces of string. I thought that might look cool. So I put that in there, fold it, let it dry. Another thing I wanted to try was maybe like different colors. And I'm just like think I thought I would just like add different colors of pulp into the mix. So I started with like this peach color. Then I thought I'd add in the blue and yellow. And the thing is like the paper would like kind of die the pulp. So a whole thing kind of turned green. Oh, and yeah. I figured it was a little redundant using paper towels to make paper. So I switched over to this like squeegee thingy majiggy majiggy. And that worked fine. So I tried it again. I'm in with that. I then like added a bunch of paint and it turned this weird color. I thought if I put paint on top, it would look cool. We'll see. Maybe I'll try some of this copper flakes. Ew. Sprinkles. Why? Wh why not? Let's. Yeah. Why not sprinkles? Let's just. Oh, okay. Let's just put in sprinkles. Pines? Pine trees? Pine needles? Yeah, that's what they're called. Pine needles. And because paper cuts don't hurt enough, let's uh, throw in some glass ornaments. Oh, and in between shots. Because of continuity, I shaved my head. Cool. Nice. Let's add uh, some candy. Mm, let's add lots of candy. Maybe uh, some crushed up Advil? I don't know. Why not? Glitter? Sure. Um. Fish, fish food. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sealed for freshness. Let's uh, let's add that. Ooh, lot, lots of it. Lots of fish food. Okay. That smells so bad. It smells so so bad. So let's uh, freshen up with coffee grounds. Yeah. Lots of lots of coffee grounds. It still smells like fish. Taco. Why, well, yeah, oh, this is this is a great idea. There's, I can't see anything going wrong with, with uh, taco. Gross. Okay. Maybe this cell phone that's broken. It wasn't working, so I'm like, oh, uh, why not? Let's help this poor little blender out. And, ooh, pretty. And oil. Let's try oil out. Everything else was working pretty well. So I thought, why not try oil? It looks cool. Here's that oil did not work and it ended up ruining all my equipment. So maybe not oil. But there were a lot of things that did work and that looked pretty cool. So speaking of something pretty cool, um, another huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring the video. So guys, I think no matter what you do, where you are, I think we can all benefit from like having our own portfolio online or like a website or maybe like a store. I've kind of made a, a standard, oh gosh, <coughs> I've kind of like set my own standard that I wouldn't ever support or shout out anything that I don't personally use and like. And so when Squarespace came at me, I was super pumped because I'd been using their stuff for a while. 
When I first had it, I had it just for a portfolio. I felt pretty cool when I when people asked me for like a design portfolio and I could like give them a website that had my own name on it. I'm silly and I was super pumped on like having my own name, like WW my own name, not like something else. So that was really cool for me. Kind of dumb, kind of silly, but it meant a lot to me to have my own URL of my name. So if you guys want something like that, I put this link in the description of the video and it will give you 15% off your first purchase. Plus you can start your free trial of the day. So go ahead and check them out. Also guys, I'm thinking about starting a Patreon and kind of wanted some of your guys' input or thoughts about what the rewards could be or what you guys would like to see as rewards for the Patreon. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.